You can curse. I haven't yet, but it's like no, like that's not even um so and then also I've been in homes where you know it was a remodel or a new build and the kitchen was a hundred thousand dollar kitchen but nothing matched or coordinated. Yeah. So from a design standpoint, you're basically saying that the right team isn't assembled, it can really, really, really go wrong. I think when it comes to a new build, there's no pre-existing vision whatsoever of your space. Yeah, but if it's when, custom. If, if it's, it's custom. custom, right. But when it comes to a remodel, it's easier to envision of what you might do because yeah. you it has can a canvas. kind of see. Yeah. It's not a blank canvas, yeah. and that's new development. Mm -hmm. A lot of what I'm finding out, because I'm learning about development from an investment standpoint, finding a lot of clients who wouldn't, who have land and they want to build. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to educate myself. Exactly. Meeting with developers, meeting yeah. with contractors, meeting with architects. Mm -hmm. And what I'm finding out is it, that a lot of new builds are a lot of time copycats. They're going to, yeah. they're looking at a, a, at, a, at a drawing that's already done, that has been mm -hmm. built and just tweaking it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think having the right team in place, you have access to past blueprints, past plans that have been looked over by designers like yourself and mm -hmm. reputable architects but the obvious advantage from my point of view is you know if you have the right team in place it can really go right so if you have the, a team like myself Angela and maybe you know a builder who's who's stellar we can put together a house that can really be really really be a good investment financially and also still be really good design design wise and if we have a good uh, if we have a good contractor in place, we can get it done on time as well. So having the right team on place, it can really, really go right if you know what you're doing. You have the right team assembled. So Where that's just my you, take on it. You had mentioned um, a financial point of having the a real estate agent on a new yeah. build. I was just wondering, curious, like explain yeah. more. Um, so I'm not sure exactly. So what like you I mean said, on a new build, the way it can go wrong is if you overbuild for an area. You yeah. overbuild. You Which get that's custom. easy to do with me. I mean, yeah, it's easy to do. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's easy to do. But that's also, the part I don't know. But so. like you said earlier, just having the right team in place, yeah. people understanding their roles and staying in their role. Yeah. So for me, 100%. when you've done jobs personally for me in my house, yes. it's a remodel to an older 1950s house. You came yeah. in, it already had a canvas. You just tweaking things along the mm -hmm. way putting things together so we have a good product. So right. the kitchen is streamlined, the dining room is streamlined, just everything looks really good. Mm -hmm. But on a custom home, if you don't have the right design and the right architect in place, you allow the homeowner to just go ramp it. Yeah. <laughs> they can just do whatever. <laughs> but if you have a good real estate agent on board, you keep them up to date on what's yeah. going on and how the house is being built or how it's gonna be built, they can give you a yeah. good idea and say, hey look, this is what sold in the past. This is how homes have, this is how homes look. This is okay. something that we can't even project what it's gonna sell for. We can just project what you're paying for it and just on a price per square foot basis if you're able to sell it. So price point wise, price you point come wise. in and say like, hey, yeah. yeah. To give like you an that. idea. Yeah, so, that's, I mean, that's it, huge. It gives you an idea yeah. based on how the finished product's gonna look. If mm -hmm. you have drawings, if it gets to a point where you can do 3D drawings, you can actually envision what things look like. A real estate agent can be very helpful. But if you're just gonna go ramp it, nobody's gonna be able to help you. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. You need to get back to your team structure and just make sure you got the people in place. Yeah. We're not gonna allow you to just go crazy and just build whatever you wanna build. That's huge. Yeah. Um, I do have, before we move yeah. on, another big advantage of when you're building a new home versus buying an existing. And one of the um, big advantages is a newer home can be healthier for you. True. So in terms of lead paint, we yeah. find lead paint in a lot of older home homes, uh, mold. Yeah. So mold is actually a very common thing in older homes. Like even yeah. if it's not that old, and it's mold is very bad for your health. Like if your children or you have bad allergies or anything and you're not really understanding why, yeah. like you could possibly have mold in your home. And then asbestos is horrible for you and popcorn ceilings usually have asbestos in them. Yeah. So when you're building a new home in terms of your health, that can be beneficial because all of the newer, like the newer paint does not have lead in it. Yeah. Like 
a lot of the things that you had to worry about in an older home, you're not gonna have to worry about in a newer home. Sure. And then also just the feel of it mentally to go in (laughs) and know that no one's ever lived in this home. Like this is specifically for me. Like I'm the only person who stepped foot in it. Yeah. That can feel really good. Um, because you know, I mean, just yeah, from a mental standpoint, it just feels good to know like this is, this is yours. It's just yours and it's for you and your family only yeah. and nobody else. And then the third thing is utilities and stuff. Like if you build your home with certain insulation, yeah. certain conserves energy ways, sure. yeah, you can serve energy and have cheaper utilities. So yeah. all of those are another great advantages of building a home versus I like it. I like it, Angela. You were well prepared. I would say if this was a real debate, that you would be winning the debate right now. But my, my, I'm a pessimist. So when we get to the, the disadvantages, I think that the, the pendulum is going to swing oh, my favor a little bit. That, so you can go into the next question. What's the next question? That's or a good point. You're a pessimist and I'm an optimist. So like optimistic. I could see me winning. <laughs> Listen, Angela is one of the most optimistic people. I'm even so if you don't optimistic. like Angela, even if you don't like Angela, you have to respect her. She's always positive. So all the yeah. positive stuff, she's going to be great. But when I get to the negative, yeah. the, the, the nasty, the disadvantages, that's when I'm going to be great. So let's go <laughs> to the next one. Cons of buying existing versus building. So we'll do the first one will be the cons of existing, buying okay. existing home. What's the cons of buying existing? You touched on some energy stuff, so mm-hmm. I think that was great. Yeah, yeah. Should I leave the disadvantages of buying existing? Do it, let's do it. I would say there isn't any. What's the what's the harm of buying existing? Unless I knew you overpay. you were gonna say that. Unless you overpay. <laughs> you, can predict, you literally can break, predict everything. So when you sign a contract for a home, your real estate agent should be getting you a lead-based paint disclosure and a seller property disclosure. And that's gonna line out pretty much everything you need to know. You can do a property inspection within the first 10 days of, or his first 10 business days of signing your contract in the state of Arkansas if your realtor negotiated the right way. You can look at comps. You can look at everything. You can have a full story of what you're buying. We'll get to the other one, buying, buying brand new in a second, but I think that's the biggest advantage of buying an existing home it makes so much sense you can predict everything and if you pick right you can really really be profitable so if you bought a home last year Mm -hmm. i've seen people buy homes like just a year or two ago and they're making you know they're doubling tripling their money and it's crazy it's pretty to see but they just bought right and i think with our brokerage we just make sure we try our best to steer you to the homes and you're not supposed to steer anybody but i'm always if i'm your realtor i'm always going to recommend the home that's gonna either hold its value or go up in value. So mm-hmm. buying homes in the path of progress. When you buy and build, building new, there's not a whole lot of land that's its own residential, that's gonna be in the perfect area and, and things like that. Right. You'll find some that are also cost prohibit, prohibitive for you to buy. Like if you buy properties in the path of progress right now, they're in good areas, good school districts, they're ridiculous. Like they're so expensive, <laughs> I wouldn't even recommend you to buy it. It makes no sense, but buying existing, you can kind of hedge those bets a little bit, make sure you're buying the right house. So that's my take. What's your take? <laughs> what, is, what, are some, what are some negatives of buying an existing? Um, and you could touch on some of the stuff you talk, talked about before, yeah. but that's really good stuff that I didn't think you would touch on. I think a big thing on the negative is, for one, is like <clears throat> you are really like, usually end up compromising what you, what you really want in a home when you buy existing. So I think it's really hard to go in an existing home and define what you want. Okay. And the biggest thing for me personally, because you know, I'm actually literally just went through the process myself and yes. used Hannah, Same, your wife. Yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, we were looking at, and this is for the River Valley specifically. Because obviously, if we're in any other parts of the world, you're yeah. not even going to get a home for three hundred thousand. <laughs> well, in Atlanta, I mean, heck, if y'all get on Zillow and look at Atlanta, everything is custom. Everything is three stories and extravagant, and yeah, like I mean, you could do that type of stuff in some of the you know the sub sub markets in the Atlanta area. But I mean, you're talking about here. I mean, no, you can't do that. You can't yeah. do that. So I like your points, though. Continue, continue. So. You know, 
for it's so so um for me what happened to us my boyfriend and i is we originally start out we